So I'm just going to, I'm out in the garden. I'm just going to find a seat. And I've got a pussycat who's joining me as well. Come on, Come on girl. Right, so, <clears throat> um, yep, yeah, here she is. <laughs> we've got a, she actually went missing, um, but we've got her back. I'm so, so pleased. Um, <coughs> yeah, so it's Monday Mindset from the garden. And um, yeah, super, super happy. The sun is out um, and I've got a great topic to talk about today. So <clears throat> we're talking about investing in yourself. Now, I've been talking <clears throat> for a little while, really, about the situation and how people are actually still buying. Um, <clears throat> I've got a few clients that have come to me and said, I don't think that people are buying. And the situation is that, yes, people are still buying. They will still buy what you are offering. They will still buy and they will still need your service. In fact, um, often <clears throat> more now than ever. So what the situation is, is that um, we are finding ourselves that, uh, yes, people are still buying, but they are not actually buying exactly what they were. Um, oh, hang on a second. I have a cup of tea arriving. <laughs> Just for two seconds. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you very much. I'm just doing a live, but uh, we are socially isolating <laughs> and having a cup of tea. <laughs> I just got it from a distance. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Hang on a second. The weather's beautiful, but it is cold out here. So, um, yeah, I've been delivered a cup of tea. Um, <clears throat> right. So, yeah, let's get back to it. So, <clears throat> yes, people are buying people still need what you are offering. Um, they still need your help and they still need your support. Um, so I, today I'm going to talk about actually investments, investing um, and investing in yourself in particular. So if you don't know me, my name is Sarah Asquith Falance. I'm a neuroscientist and a business success coach. Um, I have worked um, in yeah, uh, entrepreneurship for 20 years, being my own entrepreneur. Um, uh, and also helping and supporting mainly women, but some great men um, to succeed in their business using um, all sorts of different techniques, mindset um, in particular, obviously, because a neuroscientist and um, yeah, business strategy and structures and um, yeah, all that goodness, really. So um, I have gone through myself several, <coughs> excuse me, several times where I've had to pivot my business. And obviously the last little while we've been talking about pivoting businesses. So really, yes, people are still buying and <coughs> people are still investing. Um, it just depends on what you are offering. If at the moment what you're offering isn't doing it for them and they don't actually need that exact thing at the moment, then this is the time to pivot. However, <coughs> This is often the time, and I, I've seen this go through cycles every time there's a recession or something big happens. Um, what actually will happen is that uh, <coughs> people will either <coughs> look to retrain or they will look to educate. They'll look to educate themselves. So I'm seeing a massive upsurge in things like uh, people learning, obviously everyone's at home, so people are learning how to actually cook. So I'm working with people at the moment who are tweaking their ideas and their business um, and taking their, um, well, I know I know one particular chef who's actually uh, stopped working on the line and is now actually working online <laughs> and uh, has actually taken his business online and is obviously no longer cooking for people, but is now teaching people how to cook for themselves at home. So pivoting business is super important. So obviously going out to eat isn't the key thing at the moment, but learning how to cook is. So for him, that's been a massive, massive transformation for his business. Now, it's not to say that it, you can't go back to how the business was um, once this is all over. But often I'm hearing that people just don't want to go back. <laughs> Um, <laughs> they quite like the new way of working. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to talk about, yeah, as we're talking about investing, investing in ourselves, investing in learning, investing in how to do things. Um, and I want to talk about, you know, I don't just um, talk to people and sell my own programs. You know, I do walk my talk and talk my walk. And I have just invested in the highest level um, coaching program for myself. Um so I do, you know, I do do what I uh, advocate and I have to say it's super scary. It is super scary when you take that step and that investment and you know that you 
you know there's something you don't know and you know that you need to go to the next level um it, it can be super super scary but you also do know that you need to take that step now there's two ways to look at this you can either go online <laughs> and see how other people are doing it but then you don't get the full picture you don't get the full structure and the path that that's required um or you can uh you know say i'd love to work with somebody who who knows these steps who knows how to get to where i want to go who's been there before um which is why i've just invested in as i say the most the most financial investment that i've ever invested um and it's to work with someone for two years because i have a, a long-term plan so um yeah i just want to let you know that people yes people are still investing and the other thing i would want to that you know if if you're not investing in yourself how can you expect somebody else to invest in you you know it's it's kind of like cyclical path of nature um as well you know if you do not value yourself enough to upgrade and to learn what you might need to know um, then how are you going to expect anybody else to to kind of either learn from you or to invest in what you have to offer. So yeah, it's it has been a bit of a a bit of a scary time and you know there's been a few <laughs> conversations over the weekend about putting money together, how to find it. Um and I do this with my clients anyway. So I, I usually in fact I, I have my kind of top 50 list of how I'm gonna find the pennies to put together. Um and if you would love that, actually, yeah, you can just drop in and say, I'd, I'd like that kind of way of how to actually learn how to find some money. Because it, it's a very strange time, but it is a time, as I say, for learning and it's a time for up leveling. And it is a time for gaining knowledge because we're not going to be doing what we ever did the same in the past. Um, business is not going to be done the same as it ever was in the past. So now is the time to up level and to learn. Um, and actually, it's, it's exactly what I'm actually offering myself for my clients at the moment, which is the Pivot to Profit program. Um, and it's, you know, it's what I've done in the past to pivot my business, uh, which I pivoted in 2008 with the massive financial recession and crash. Um, I pivoted in 2012 and basically took all of my business online then. Um, so it's yeah it's what I've done in the past and it's kind of I'm offering what I wish I had known at the time but it's 30 days you know 30 days to, to actually get from where you are to where you want to be um, and as I say you don't have to actually stay um, in the online space but if you'd love to it's an extra string to your bow obviously when all this is over and you get back into it so um, yeah if you are in the position where you know you've got time you'd love to learn something extra you know you need to invest in something and you know you'd love people to buy from you then maybe now is the time to actually invest in yourself um, and on that note I'm going to